I swipe up and search for the recorder app. I tap on the recorder app and then tap on get started. I tap on keep recordings offline. Now it's time to start recording. I tap on the record button. Hello techies, this is Miguelina from Tech Valor. I make tech tutorials for people who want to become power users. And of course I made a mistake. Power users just like myself. <laughs> I pause the recording. Google is requesting that I add a location to my recording. I'm going to choose no thanks. Keep in mind that if you try to review a transcript of a recording that you haven't yet saved, it is not possible to do so. I'm going to delete this recording and start over again. I'll tap delete again. I tap the record button. Hello techies, this is Miguelina from Tech Valor. I make tech tutorials for people who want to become power users like myself. Yay, I did it right. So I can either choose to resume or save this audio. I'm gonna choose save since I didn't mess up. <laughs> the title of the recording is going to be the date and time that it was created. You can change the title by tapping on the recording. So I'm gonna tap on it right now and then tap on the title and then edit it. I'm going to rename it to the word intro and then tap save. And I'll tap transcript so that we can see how it did. And it did really well. It captured everything that I said perfectly, even though I have an accent. I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a new recording this is another recording and I'm going to show you that even if I turn the display off that it's still going to be recording. So I'm going to hit the power button and it's going to be turned off and I'm just going to keep talking and talking and talking and now I'm going to turn on the display and you'll see that it was recording all this time. So um, I'm going to pause save I'm going to tap on the new recording and I'll choose transcript and there you can see that everything that I said even with the display being turned off it recorded it correctly another thing I want to show is that as I move the playhead along the play bar it also highlights each word and where it is that is really cool I feel like at this point Google has thought of everything. And the last thing that I'm going to demonstrate is going to be the search feature because hello, it's Google, Google search, yeah. But first I'm gonna get rid of this notification because yes, I wanna keep everything offline. Now back to searching. I'm going to search for the word going. That seems to be a word that I've been using a lot. Not only does it show me the file that I say that word, but where exactly in the file I say those words. What I was trying to do there was hit the play button to see if it goes exactly where the word going is, but it doesn't. So I'm going to move the cursor along to where I say the word. I'm checking to see if it snaps in place, but it doesn't. And I'll just go ahead and play this recording so you can see how it sounds. I'm going to turn on the display and you'll see that it was recording all this time. So. Um, I'm going to and that's just about everything you can do with the recorder app. It's pretty simple, but very very powerful I'm very very impressed by it and If you try it out, definitely let me know. Let's have a conversation. I'm tech valor everywhere